What's up guys, Elphis here, and today we're playing some Heroes of the Storm. I'm gonna turn my volume down for just a sec. Uh, we're playing Sonya the Barbarian on the Haunted Get Mines map. So, heroes. Sonya, um, we'll pick our uh, talent here. I haven't played her enough to unlock all the talents yet, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think the increased fury is really that helpful. I'd much prefer the block. Um, the block just blocks basic attacks by 50%. Uh, I don't know the exact cooldown on it, but it has up to two charges. I think the cooldown is something like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or something. Um, so, we're playing on the Haunted Mines map, which essentially the goal is, you know, every so often these, this thing, and this thing up here will open up, and the mines will be open, and you can go into the second map here where these little... Oops, I wasn't paying attention and got hit by that. Uh, where these little... Um, you know, zombies spawn, or, you know, skeletons, whatever, spawn, and they drop little skulls when they die, and, you know, you collect, um, skulls, and whoever, you know, the, at the end of the mines, once all of them have been killed and skulls collected, uh, it spawns up a few golems, one for each team, and, uh, you know, your golem is strong based on how many, uh, skulls you collected. Pretty standard, uh, not too complicated, um, but the golems can be very devastating if you get all 100 of the skulls. There's 100 in total. If you collect all 100, it can be pretty devastating uh, if you're not careful. Um, so I'm playing the Barbarian, Sonya the Barbarian. So Sonya, uh, she's a pretty cool hero. Um, I kind of have a thing. I'm kind of a sucker for any hero that has essentially uh, free abilities, has who doesn't have mana, things like that. Uh, whether it uses your health or whether, you know, Sonya generates fury uh, just by attacking or my Q generates fury as well. Um, I think that's awesome. I love that. I love that ability. I love that, you know, there are heroes like that. I'm, I'm a real sucker for heroes like that. She's essentially kind of a tank, but she also does deal some okay damage. It's not amazing by any means, uh, but it's all right. It's okay. Uh, the fact that your slam has zero cooldown, essentially, it's just like a global cooldown of like one second or whatever half a second one second so it does have a cooldown of one second um you know you can beat out a fairly hefty chunk of damage pretty quickly um if you're you know spamming your w but you know depending on how you build you may not necessarily want to do that you may want to uh you know auto attack or something like that it's level three so we should start killing um somebody help me with that I need help. We should take, uh, around level 3 on this map, you want to take uh, at least one, preferably both camps of, mer of golems on your side, because the mines spawn at just about the time when everybody hits 4, and at that point you're going to want to rush uh, down to the mines or push with your golems either way. So as you'll see, you can pretty much just spam your W if you can build up the fury for it. I'll pick my uh, ability here in a second right after we kill this. Um, I'll probably go with... Um, Let's go with periodically increasing my next attack, because why not? Um, yeah. So I don't have all the talents because I haven't leveled up this hero enough. To get all of the talents and, you know, heroic abilities and whatever, I think you need to get level 4 with the hero. I think, I think don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. Uh, level 4 with the hero. Um, and, you know, that's not crazy hard to do. It's just a few games. Oh, I missed my spear. I, it has a cast time, so it, you know, took a little bit of time out of my day. Um, these guys should help me with this. Uh, you kind of just want to grab your golems real quick, because the mines are open. The mines just opened up. So we want to grab golems. Uh, I prefer to go mercs instead of go for the mines. Usually you have people go one or the other. Either you go for the mines in that um, you, you know, let the other team you know, get free reign of the mer mercenaries, uh, or you go for the mercenaries in that, um, you let, uh, or in that, uh, you grab the mercenaries and let the other team have most of the mines, although you can usually grab some skulls because it doesn't take as long to kill the mercenaries as it does to collect all the skulls. So, nobody really has gone down to the skulls yet, uh, Tyrael went down just a second, but, uh, just a second ago, but he hasn't really gotten much yet. Uh, we're doing pretty well here, actually, we got a couple kills from that. The golems will help push these towers pretty, uh, strongly. I would say turn that around on him. I don't know what that crazy person is doing. For whatever reason, he thinks he could run up on me like that. These guys need to be a little careful over here. They might be dead. Uther might be in this. Um, uh, I got no problem picking on you, though. I need to get out of here. Because now I'm in, you know, a little bit over my head here. Um, let's see. Hit level 7. I like to do seismic slams. It was more splash damage. I think I like to do more of a slam-oriented uh, build rather than a build 
focused around auto attacks or my uh, spear or other thing. Um, but you can you can do builds focused around other uh, you know sets of abilities or whatever. Uh, Tyrael's down there taking out some. I think I'm gonna go down to the bottom. The the mines let in top mine lets in here. Bottom mine lets in down here. Uh, I think I'm gonna come down to the bottom one and try and grab those ones right at the uh, at the gate here. Right after I push uh, this in, do my little whirlwind, get some little AOE damage out there one more time. Uh, the whirlwind isn't crazy strong. I don't think it's that great of an ability, but it's not so bad considering you know it doesn't really cost that much. And if if you're um, if you are um, if you're trying to kill AOE, then it's probably your best bet. Uh, it, I mean, if you do the splash oriented build, uh, you know your slam oriented build, you can actually do AOE with slam, much like I'm doing right now. If you'll notice, I just slammed and hit all of them for a very hefty chunk of damage. Uh, so it looks like they're focusing more on the mercenaries, which is kind of a bad decision since we already got the two giants on our side. It's one thing if you can get all five mercenary camps, it's not that bad. But if you have to uh, sacrifice one or two or, you know, three of the mercenary camps, it's suddenly not as good uh, to go for that. You're better off trying to fight for the mines. Um, me and him alone could take it, probably. It looks like they're all still up on top side. Uh, so me and him alone could take this. Uh, or we should be able to. Just gotta be careful not to get hit by that AoE stun. It does a little bit of damage. That thing actually does a decent chunk of damage. Uh, but, you know, it's much easier to avoid, too. Uh, assuming you're paying attention to this. So we gotta kill it quick because they're probably on their way down here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're just focusing on pushing. So we didn't get 100 of the, uh, of the skulls, but we did get uh, 85 of them. So ours is gonna be much stronger. I'm going B, and then I'm gonna come down bottom and help defend. We do also have our ultimates that they do not have. Um, we, once you get level 10, you get to your, pick your ultimate, which I'm going to grab right now. I'm going to grab Leap rather than Wrath of the Berserker. I think both of them are great. I don't necessarily have a problem with Wrath of the Berserker. I just, for me personally, I think it's not, uh, in my build style. Um, team? Where's my, uh, my team is in here. I figured I would have a little bit more support than that, but those guys were dead by the time we got there. We did get a couple, though. We got three of them. They got three of us, uh, which is kind of... That sounds like it's an okay trade. Uh, it's actually not. We should have won more dominantly because we had ultimates. But, you know, they... Um, somebody needs to take out that golem. He should stop chasing him. He's probably not going to kill him. Yeah. Um, but uh, we had ultimates, really, before they did, so we should have won that fight pretty dominantly. It's just that we were kind of spaced out. Um, I'm going to grab some mercs as well. Uh, with an 85 powered golem this early on, it is going to do a, you know, a decent chunk of damage, especially with already taking out the middle forts and stuff. Um, it's actually going to hurt them a fair amount. Uh, if we went and pushed with it, it would hurt a bit too, but I think I'm going to, uh, ideally I want to defend, uh, grab the mercs that are respawning and then defend from their golem real quickly, uh, before they get anything, uh, yeah, okay, so their golem doing that. Ours is, you know, still mostly full health and it's pushing out there, you know. Uh, you know, golems can be very beneficial, but I just think if you push with the mercenaries while they're gra gathering the skulls, you can actually get more done with the mercenaries. Um, you could maybe argue the, the other way, but I think, uh, plus there's probably a balance too, you know, grabbing one or two mercenaries like I do. I, I like to grab, you know, the two giants and then, uh, you know, go for the mines, you know, so that way I don't give the enemy team all of the stuff, but, um, I don't know. It, I've been trying to figure out the best way to do it. Um, I, in this particular case, since I don't have the other three good ones, um, I guess uh, increasing spear range is probably better than the ability damage, but maybe not, who knows. Uh, so let's see, our golem made it all the way over here. He didn't really push much, but the thing is now he'll respawn there, and we're pushing bottom in the process too. Uh, so next time when we get, uh, uh, when we get uh, skulls again, he will respawn over there. So that's where he's going to spawn from now on. Arthas is dead. Um, I was trying not to blow all my fury on Arthas because I didn't need to. Uh, someone should go up there and defend that. Uh, um, I guess it doesn't matter if we, if we want to push on this instead. Um, yeah, I don't know. So this game's pretty different from Han, but uh, it is still similar in some concepts. Um, let's take their golems. I'm not letting them have that, so yeah. Uh, cool, so we're going to snag their golems and then hopefully push them more. They have a watchtower here, which is kind of like a ward, so they could see us, but uh, honestly, there isn't really much they could do, even if they see us. Uh, they can't really come stop us, to be honest with you. They could try, I guess, but uh, they're pushing that. That's a bad idea for them to push the mid-towers instead of going after this. 
um, instead of defending us here because this gives us like mega creeps, like super minions kind of, stronger minions, that's what these things are. When you kill the tower in the lane, uh, at the, the tier 3 tower in the lane, um, it spawns uh, super minions, mega creeps, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's jump on that, kill her maybe, no she's in the back, oh get out of that, I don't want to be in the AoE there, leave me alone out this, oh the tower. The tower was, I was tanking tower aggro. Kill the tower real quick. One, two, there we go. Okay, so we got the tower. So, uh, you know, in this game, super minions or whatever you want to call them, um, I like this one, uh, really are just, um, like, instead of getting normal minions, your thing also spawns a catapult. That's it. So you get all the normal minions. They're not any stronger or anything like that. They're the same minions, uh, but you spawn the normal minions and you get a catapult. So that's it. Uh, that's really what it is. Um, but the catapult does more than you would think it is. It's kind of like a siege giant. It throws like rocks that are slow and you can dodge them, but um, they, you know, they do hit a decent chunk if you let them land and all that. I'm going to go up top here and defend uh, from these giants because they're getting pretty annoying. Uh, towers alone have a problem, have a pretty big problem dealing with giants. Uh, so if somebody doesn't come deal with them, they can get, they can push quite a ways before they're dealt with. So. It's just something to think about. Um, somebody kind of needs to deal with them. Not necessarily everybody, you know, it usually only takes one person or whatever, but... Um, uh, we need to defend this. This is not an okay thing to let them have. Where am I? Got to Sonya and Arthas. They tried to take it quick. It wasn't even close to quick enough, though, so I don't know. That was kind of a poor decision by them. I, I just don't understand why they did that. So, that's okay. They made a mistake. It's all good. Life goes on. This game is very, very forgiving uh, when it comes to making mistakes. Um, you can make a very large number of mistakes, and I've still come back from games where I've been, you know, losing the first 20 minutes, and then the enemy team makes one mistake, and we genocide them, and... GG, and that's how the fight goes. So you can easily come back even after you've lost. There's really no point where uh, the game is 100% set in stone. Uh, I will say the only thing that really sets a game in stone is that in this game, the matchmaking system is kind of mediocre. So you can get games where like your team composition is just really bad. Like the enemy has like double heals and you have none and you're just sitting there in team fights getting poked away and it's kind of useless and annoying and you're just kind of sitting there dying basically. Um, I mean, you, there are ways around it, but you can't do anything about uh, enemy um, composition and stuff. You can't do anything about team composition. So, uh, you know, if you can't do it, you can't do it. They actually beat us on skulls in this particular round, but um, that's actually not that big of a deal um, because we got Mercs and... Ooh, Jesus. And we're also going to get these guys. I'll go after him. Nope, you got that. He's going after him. I'm going to mount up and chase him down. Um, there's not really much to do other than... Oh, nice mount. He's gone. Uh, that was well played. That was well played. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice Tyrio had stopped him. Oh, no, I'm gonna go... I'll go grab the rest of the skulls. Um, actually, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah. So, the idea is you can let them have the... Like, I can wait and just let them come get the skulls. Because they have more skulls, it might be the better thing to do. I.e., you know, don't finish it because they get a stronger golem. So if they don't want to come down here and get the skulls themselves, then, you know, we're going to... The golems won't spawn until all 100 skulls have been taken. So if nobody comes down here and kills these guys, the golem will not spawn, ever. Um, so, you know, I've had times where the enemy team has 99 skulls and they've left one skull down there and we're winning because they've left one skull and they just aren't going for it. So, you know, I mean, there are different strategies you can use to combat different, you know, things. So, it's just kind of the way the game is played and uh, this particular game mode has slight, you know, I don't want to call it glitches because they're, they're part of the game. That's how the game is supposed to be. But they're things that can make the game, uh, can, you know, make your team better or worse off depending on how you play it. So, just something to think about when you're out here doing this stuff. Uh, we should be okay killing this relatively fast. That AoE stun is a fairly hefty stun. I think it's like 1.5 seconds, maybe 2 seconds. Um, it's not anything crazy, but uh, uh, it is still something to think about. Um, you know, we're going to kill this thing pretty quick. They've probably, yeah, they've already killed ours. You can see the health bars of both of them right there. So they've already taken ours out. Uh, we just took theirs out. Neither golem probably did that much. Yeah, neither golem really did that much work, to be honest with you. Tyrael dealing with these things. I'm just going to warn him of danger because they're probably coming. Yep, there they are. Tyrael has a fairly, you know, all right, we shouldn't engage here. We're outnumbered. This is bad engagement by Tyrael. 
Um, I mean, I had to take the opportunity of a fantastic ultimate. There wasn't anything I could do on that one. I just had to do it. Great ultimate. I, I hit like four people I couldn't resist. You know, I, I got greed, I guess. I don't know. Um, Witch Doctor for the cleanup? Mm -hmm. Witch Doctor does do a fair amount of damage, but I don't know about that. She could clean up on this guy pretty easily. Throw toads? Does she already throw toads? I didn't see her throw toads yet. There's Gargantuan. That's his ultimate. One of his ultimates. You can get one of two ultimates on. Every hero in the game has two ultimates except for Abathur. At, at least as far as I know. I haven't seen a single hero without two ultimates. That doesn't mean they don't exist, but um, I, I haven't played every hero, I don't think. One auto. One auto for the GG. There we go. Nice cleanup. So we ended up trading four for four. Uh, Vala is the only one who didn't die for them, and Witch Doctor is the only one who didn't die for us. So, you know, it ended up being all right. Um, that's okay. I like these little scoreboards. It tells you exactly how much hero damage, healing, uh, siege damage, and experience everybody's contributed. And then you can also go to show talents, and it's essentially like seeing items in Han. It shows you how people are building, um, so to speak. So, I'm on my way to grab some mercs. Uh, 4k HP, who is Evo? That's a lot of HP. He's dead, though. He went too far up. I, I don't know why he did that. Um, that's just kind of silly. We should worry about this. They're gonna go for that. It looks like I saw, uh, their Sonya walking up that way, so it looks like that's where they were going. Uh, we can defend it, but... Um, you know, I mean, we have four people here-ish. Uh, so... Oh, you're dead, girl. Can I get... No, he's just... He's kind of, like, just out of my range. Oh, yeah, he was. That's okay. It was worth, because we're gonna get it in the end. They'll go that. We'll grab the knights now. And, uh, you know, another good cleanup. All right, so, you know, people get cocky and they make wrong mistakes, and in this game, you die pretty easily if you make the wrong mistake, just because it's, there is no, like, I mean, you can get ahead and behind, it's just you can't really get that big of a lead. So, you know, we're 19, they're 18. There's, that's not really that big of a difference. I mean, we're almost 20 and they're almost 19, I guess, but, you know, that's not really that big of a difference stat-wise or anything. So, I mean, 1v1, their Sonya would probably lose if he's a level below, but... Uh, I mean, depending on how it's played, you know, if we're all equal, they would definitely lose, you know, if every move is copied, you know, blah, 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 they would definitely lose, but, um, I'll pick my st uh, uh, stat here in a sec. Um, I like to go, since I don't have either of these yet, I like to go Resurrect Upon Death rather than Fury of the Storm. Uh, Resurrect Upon Death is kind of like a Guardian Angel if you play League of Legends at all, except for instead of coming back right where I died with, like, half health, I come back at the base with full health. I just, like, it's like an instant respawn. It's like a buyback, kind of, if you're playing, if we're talking Han language. It's essentially a buyback. Um, the only difference is, uh, it doesn't cost me anything. It's just one of my talents, and it has a cooldown. So, every 120 seconds, I can essentially, I get two lives, basically, is a good way to think about it. Kind of. And you can tell if it's active or not by that blue aura, kind of like a Nullstone aura, but... Uh, so, like, I have that blue lightning around me, so that's how you know. Oh, God, this is a bad engagement. Let's just, we should just back. We should just back. This isn't, I don't really want to go in on that. Uther kind of survives after he's dead, but, uh, that was just, oh, Jesus, that was just, I mean, now I'm going in too, but, I don't know, I don't, I'm not feeling this engagement. We got Vala. Uther, oh, Tyrael's gonna grab one or two. Yeah, okay. Alright, I, I guess it ended up working out okay. Um, you know, it worked out all right. I'm not going to keep going on her because she's diving. I would have to dive into their their main base, their core, whatever you want to call it. And the core in this game attacks back and stuff. I'd prefer to not take that much damage unnecessarily. I want to kind of keep our giants alive because the giants are pretty nice at doing uh, long-range damage. They're actually really nice at it. Maybe the best... Uh, they might be my favorite mercenary camp. The other mercenaries are kind of... It's not necessarily guarantee you're going to get the damage out, uh, really, because they melee and they get in range of the towers, and it can be kind of so-so. Um, oh, really? Oh, damn it. Nice heal. Nice heal by her. She healed herself at, like, the last second. I want him out of here. Get out of here, bro. He's ulted. We should get... Let's be. I'm out. I don't like this engagement. This is... They're respawning, and I'm backing. You guys are free to do whatever you want, but I think that's a mistake. I think they're going to get Arthas. Arthas death? No? I want to take their mercenaries real quick before I go B because I don't want them to have them. Um, you want to try and angle your splash so that it hits the other thing because I have the... Especially because I have the splash damage buff. But uh, if you don't angle the splash, it's like a... 
it's kind of like Gladiator's Whip. So, like, you have to, it's like in the line in front of it and slightly around it as well. Kind of just like Gladiator's Whip, I guess. Um, no, they, I don't want to go. And they didn't get Arthas. Um, I'm going to go help with that. And then I'll go mines. They've already c captured 65 of the skulls. I didn't even notice anybody was down there, to be honest with you. Um, but that's okay. It's a, we got all the mercenaries. We pushed their second keystone. That'll help. You know, you, you just got to pay attention. And note, it looks like nobody else is in the mines right now. And guess what? The golem isn't spawning. They haven't collected all of the skulls, so it will not spawn. I'm just going B because I need a little bit of help. I'm about half health, and uh, the wells are, you know, kind of... Their wells are gone, uh, at least up to the last tower. And at that point, why don't I just go B anyways? Uh, the wells are kind of like consumables in Han. They just help you regen, essentially. Oh, two dead? Yeah, okay. Two dead, so this is GG. Um... Oh, sorry, one dead? Somebody must have had, uh, oh, I think Arthas died, but he had, uh, he probably had the Fury of the Storm, or, no, not Fury of the Storm, uh, Re Resurgence of the Storm, sorry. So, he probably had my ability just like I do. I'm just gonna snag this on my way, it only takes about a second. Um, snag that, and then I'm gonna come help, and if we bum rush the core, uh, it should be a quick little GG. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, maybe not, actually. Oh, crap, I'm, like, sandwiched in the wall there. Uh, there we go. They, they keep grouping up for my ultimate. I'm not quite sure why. Now it's GG. With that many dead, they can't defend. Oh, and he's going out to die, too. So, yeah, definitely GG. Uh, they're all dead. So, everybody just bomb rush the core. And that's GG. Um, pretty cool game. So, you know, it, it comes down to... Oh, did he have... He must have had Resurgence of the Storm. Just go on the, go on the thing. Go on his, uh on the core and we win. Doesn't matter. GG. Okay. GG well played. You can't talk to teammates, so I just said it to, you just say it to allies in this game. There is no, uh, or you can't talk to enemies, sorry. There is no all chat in this game, uh, for whatever reason, I guess to mitigate raging and whatnot. Makes sense. Why not? Um, we'll just take it off, guys. So, it was a pretty cool game. Uh, I like Sonya. I bought her the other day. I really like her. I love heroes that, uh, don't require mana. It's kind of my thing. I'm a sucker for that. So, I just unlocked some more of her talents by leveling up and then, you know, actually maybe I leveled up twice. Yeah, I did. So I leveled up twice, so I unlocked all the rest of her talents. So now I have all of her talents uh, for the next game. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have a request uh, for a hero you want me to play, I'll just show you guys the heroes that you can play at the moment. Uh, it's better if I just show you in the play screen so you can see them all. Uh, so you can play a fair number of the heroes in the Blizzard universes. Um, these are the ones that I own. The rest of the... Oh, and I own Rhaegar but, and Zagara, but these ones are free-to-play. These ones with a little symbol below them are all free-to-play heroes. Uh, and they cycle them out every week, just like League of Legends does. And they add a new hero about a, every month or so, I guess, give or take. They've added, like, two since I've been playing, I think. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a request, uh, you want me to play a certain hero, then let me know. Um, and I will do that. If you want me to play a certain map, I'll, you know, try and record a game on a certain map. If you want to know, uh, see one of the four maps or whatever, that's fine, too. Four? Four maps? Right, there's the Dragon Knight, the Mines, the Skull of uh, the the Garden, and Blackheart's Bay. So if you want to see one of those four, let me know. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. GG, well played, guys. Elphys out.